Oh, hey there. Today we're gonna make some delicious homemade iced coffees. So I only ever used to drink my coffee hot. I'm curious if you prefer hot or cold coffees. Let me know in the comments below. But we started making some iced coffee recipes for the blog and I have seriously been hooked ever since, especially now that it's getting so warm outside. These are so refreshing. Um, and even if you don't love coffee, I think you still might appreciate these recipes because we're even gonna be making some flavored milks that you could always enjoy with your tea, whether you have your tea hot or cold. So let's dive right in. For the first recipe, we're gonna be making a cold brew coffee with a velvety homemade vanilla coffee cream. So if you've never made cold brew coffee before, you're in for a real treat. You just make it once ahead of time and then you can put it in the fridge and then you've got coffee on demand for the next week. It is awesome. And then the other cool thing about this too is you don't need any kind of fancy coffee machines. You just need three things. Uh, one of them is coffee beans. The other thing is a jar. We're gonna be using a French press, but a jar works perfectly fine in case you don't have this. And then some kind of fine mesh strainer. We're gonna be using a nut milk bag, but a cheesecloth also works. So we're gonna start out first with a cup of coffee beans and we're gonna blend this into a medium coarse consistency. And if you don't have a coffee grinder, don't worry about it. You can always buy coarse pre-ground coffee beans at most grocery stores. We're then gonna add this to our French press or to your large glass jar. And then we're gonna pour over top about three cups of cold or room temperature water, but just be sure that it's not boiling water because that would be us making traditional coffee and we're not doing that. We're gonna be making cold brew coffee here. Then we're just gonna give this a stir and then we can put a lid onto it. So now we're just gonna let this sit and steep for about 12 to 24 hours. The longer you let it steep, the more strong the coffee flavor is gonna be. You can leave it on the counter or in the fridge. I usually just keep it on the counter for about 12 to 14 hours. Next, we're gonna be making a speedy homemade vegan coffee cream. So for this, you're gonna need a carton, about a cup's worth of a soy-based whipping cream. This is the cream you'd normally use to make whipped cream, but instead of whipping it, we're just gonna add this liquid straight into a tall jar. We're gonna follow it up with about half of a cup of plant-based milk. We're also gonna add in a tablespoon of pure vanilla extract and a tablespoon of agave syrup, or you could use maple syrup. And then that's it. We're just gonna give this a stir. This is ready. We're gonna store it in the fridge until we're ready to use it. So I've got a batch of this that I've had steeped now for about 14 hours or so. Because I've used a French press, I'm just gonna squeeze the lid of this down, which is actually already gonna filter out quite a bit of the beans. Um, but if you just use a jar, pop the lid off of it, and then we're just gonna filter it through our fine mesh strainer, which we've just got like a, a nut milk bag on top of. So we're gonna just strain this into either a tall glass jar or you could use a bowl if you prefer. So this, is our cold brew concentrate. It's that easy. So now we can just put this in the fridge. It'll last about a week. Our creamer lasts a few days as well. And then we've got kind of coffee on demand whenever we need it. Let me show you how to kind of assemble this into a delicious drink. So now when it's time to make our drinks, we're gonna fill our glasses to the top with ice. I like to pour about half of a cup of that cold brew concentrate into the glass. And then I follow it up with about a quarter of a cup of cold water. And then we can pour about a quarter of a cup of the vanilla cream on top. It's gonna to give this beautiful swirl. And then we can add some straws and we're ready to serve this one up. I really like cold brew coffee because it tends to be a little bit less acidic and less bitter than traditional coffee. If anything, it's a bit smoother, a bit sweeter, which is really nice. So just be sure to give it a swirl and then you're ready to drink it up. For the next recipe, we're making my latest obsession. I've been having this almost every day. It is so good. So we're gonna start out with making a vegan sweetened condensed milk and it comes together with just two ingredients. But first, you're gonna wanna make sure that you grab a saucepan or a pot that has a heavy bottom. The reason is because it's gonna distribute the heat more evenly and it's gonna prevent any burning or scorching that could happen. So to the saucepan, we're gonna add in a can of full fat coconut milk. And then we're also gonna add in about half of a cup of granulated sugar. We can then take this over to the stove. We're gonna give it a stir. We're gonna let it come to a very gentle boil. And as soon as it does, you can already drop the heat down to low because we're gonna leave this at a very gentle simmer for about 45 minutes, giving it a stir every five to 10 minutes or so. So we're about 45 minutes in now. You'll see that the mixture has reduced in volume by about half and it's still quite runny, but that's okay. When I lift my spatula up and let it pour off, you'll see that quite a bit of it actually still sticks to the spatula. So that kind of indicates that it's thick enough and it's also gonna continue to thicken as it cools. So I'm just gonna take this off the heat now. We'll let this mixture cool down to room temperature before we transfer the mixture to a jar. So this sweetened condensed milk is already ready to use as it is, but I'm just gonna pop it into the fridge because it gets a bit more sticky and caramel-like as it cools. 
Now how I like to use this condensed milk is I like to add a generous spoonful of it to a cup and then I brew my espresso right over top of it. You can use strong pour over coffee or instant coffee here if you prefer. And then I give it a bit of a mix just to dissolve the condensed milk in the espresso. Now once we've got our tall cups or mason jars filled to the top with ice, we can pour the sweetened espresso over top of it. And then I like to follow this up with some barista oat milk, which is a bit creamier than traditional plant-based milk. And then that's it. This drink is already ready to enjoy. Be sure to give it a taste test too, because you can always add a bit more condensed milk if you'd like, and then prepare to fall in love. And the condensed milk is also super versatile. You can also enjoy it in hot coffees or in teas, or even drizzled over top of dessert. For the final recipe, we're making this coconut vanilla iced coffee with coffee whip. Okay, listen, I'm gonna call myself out on this one. I know I'm a whole year late to this trend, but it's just, it's too good of a recipe not to share. And I feel like if a trend is any good, it should never die, right? So first what we're gonna do is make some iced coffee cubes. We've brewed some pretty strong coffee here, which we're now gonna transfer into the wells of an ice cube tray. And then we're gonna pop this right into the freezer. Next into a pitcher or a jar, we're gonna add three cups of plant-based milk. We're personally using a coconut milk beverage, but any plant-based milk that you prefer is great. Plus we're gonna add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We're then gonna give this a mix and we can store this in the fridge until we're ready to use it. So once the ice cubes are frozen, there's only one more thing we're gonna need to prep and then we can already assemble our drink. And this, in my opinion, is the best part of the whole drink. It's the Dolgona inspired part, which is making the whipped coffee. Now this is optional, but I highly recommend making it because if you do, you won't regret it. It's the best. So to a large bowl, we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of water plus a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar and two teaspoons of espresso powder, or you could use instant coffee granules. Then using an electric hand mixer, we're gonna whip this up for about four to five minutes or until we see some soft peaks are forming. And that's it. That's how you make this delicious whipped coffee. You're gonna see it's like tripled in volume in the time that we've whipped it. And if you don't have an electric hand mixer, by the way, you can always just use a regular whisk and you can whisk it by hand. It will take about like eight to 12 minutes, so it requires some patience, but you'll still end up with the same deliciousness. Now that we're ready to assemble our drink, we can take our iced coffee cubes out of the freezer. Feel free to also always make a bigger batch of this if you'd like to, because you can always store any leftover cubes in an airtight container and put it back in the freezer for when you want to make this drink again. So to assemble our drink, we're just gonna add some of the coffee ice cubes to a glass. We're then gonna pour over our vanilla flavored milk, and then we can top this with our soft, thick and fluffy whipped coffee. The texture of this is what makes it so incredibly satisfying and it just sits so beautifully on top of the drink. And with most coffee drinks, you know how like the longer you wait to drink it, the more diluted the coffee becomes as the ice cubes melt? Well, with this drink, it's actually the opposite. So you can take your time enjoying it because as these ice cubes melt, you've got more coffee flavor infused into your milk. And then when you mix it together with that Dalgona whip that's on top, it tastes like an absolute treat. In case you are in the hot coffee camp, we have done a previous video where we share some like flavored hot coffee recipes and it's also with some delicious homemade cookie recipes. So I'm gonna link that video for you in the description box along with a full breakdown to all of the recipes that we made today. I do have a little favor to ask you. Um, if you've ever tried any one of our recipes and if you've enjoyed it, if you could leave a comment uh, on that particular blog post, it would mean the world. When we transferred over from our old website to the new one, we unfortunately could not transfer all the comments over with it. And that means we lost like thousands of comments, which is kind of heartbreaking um, but yeah I think it really helps for other people to see which recipes you all enjoy and it would mean a lot to us so anyway thanks so much for hanging with us as well today much appreciated pickup lines signing off and we'll see you in the next video I'm just gonna kind of push the lid of this down which is already gonna filter out a little bit of the coffee beans I think I just broke it <laughs> yeah thanks it's like the best day it's gonna be like <laughs> all this coffee. <laughs> you haven't even tried it. Maybe we can convert you. No, but these. I, mean, I like it more than regular coffee. Okay. <laughs>